Good evening, everybody. It's been a little bit, long time no see. Um, I have August Poop Pantry Hall for you. And before I get into it, I want to touch base for a moment with everyone. Um, one of my previous videos, I was saying about I wasn't feeling well. Um, I had been dealing with what I thought was a stomach bug. Well, my son got it several days after I did, and he was over it in like five days. It did not want to leave me. As a matter of fact, um, two days ago, no, three days ago, I wound up going back to my family doctor because I still had some slight stomach issues going on after two weeks. And my doctor decided the best way to figure out what was going on was take a stool sample and take it up to lab my local hospital, which I did. Tomorrow is the third day, so hopefully tomorrow I will find out what it was that made me sick. She's thinking now more along the lines of an intestinal bug or possibly something that I got from food I ate. Now, we didn't eat out, so it has nothing to do with a fast food restaurant. If anything, it would have something to do with maybe produce, but we don't know yet. Um, but I will let you guys know as soon as I find out. And I can tell you honestly, oh my god, this kicked my ass. I didn't even feel as bad when I had my heart attack. I felt pretty good for having a slight heart attack years ago, let me tell you. This stomach thing kicked my ass and rocked my world, and I wouldn't wish it on anyone. It has been bad. In hindsight, <coughs> I probably, within the first few days, should have went to a hospital, but who wants to go to a hospital, right? I mean, well, come on, nobody does. But all I can say is, if you feel like you're coming down with anything similar to this, guys, don't, don't play with your health. Go to a hospital, go to an ER, because believe me, you don't want to suffer for over two weeks like I have been. And I'm glad to finally say, I mean, I feel like I'm starting to actually feel better my appetite is starting to come back. At one point, I lost 9 pounds in 11 days. That is terrifying. I was going crazy trying to lose a pound in a month. And that was what walking and exercise and trying to eat have normally. But trust me, I'm not going to be so quick to complain about my weight having gone the other end of the spectrum with all this happy nonsense. No, 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 no. So with that being said, just, hey, don't play with your health, guys. Life is too short. You feel any kind of weird crap coming on, go to an ER, get checked. Don't suffer senselessly and needlessly like I did to myself. So anywho, so I have a small food pantry haul. <clears throat> um, I got a little bit less than what I did last month. I understand, um, it's, how do I explain it? Different food pantries um, get different donations from different sources. So, a lot of things that I'm used to having gotten in the past, um, I'm just not getting any more and I'm gonna have to start buying, which is fine. It's just that I feel like, I don't know, um, I feel like the amount of what I used to get is going down, and I mean, there's really nothing you can do. I tried looking in to see if there were any church food pantries in my area. I believe there are two, but they are so far away from me that without a vehicle, they're not even worth me. I wouldn't be able to get to them. So they do absolutely 
no good and no benefit to someone like me with no car. I mean, I enjoy walking, but there's even a limit to how much a person should have to walk. And where these two are located is just too far, too far here in town. So, with that being said, let me get into the colder items that I got first, because these need to go in the freezer. Now, last month when I did a food haul, I had gotten pulled pork, which I actually made, but I didn't eat any because of things was going on with my stomach. But my son said that it was really, really good. I used barbecued sauce with it in a slow cooker and it smelled amazing. But I was actually afraid to eat it because everything that I was eating and drinking was just literally passing right through me. So, unfortunately, I didn't get to enjoy that meal. Um, however, I was able to grab some pork patties. I have had these before. I made them with some pork gravy and baked them. And these came really, really good. So, these are also a good meal. I can actually get two meals out of this pack. And these are really good tasting. I've had these before. Um, they also had some Wawa items that you could take, one per person. So I grabbed a sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit, and a bacon, egg, and cheese uh, bagel biscuit. Those are something that they often have pretty regularly, so I mean, I can't complain um, that. some canned fruit. I was able to grab three cans of mandarin oranges. I love mandarin oranges. I do prefer fresh, but very seldom do I see these in cans, but I grab them because it can rinse the syrup off and possibly maybe put them in jello or incorporate them into some kind of like a fruit salad or dessert. And I grabbed three cans of those. Definitely something that I really have not seen before. Um, canned oranges, at least not not within the past couple of months. I actually don't think I've gotten canned oranges from there in maybe like a year or two. So that was definitely something worth um, worth grabbing. Now, usually, I am able to get large can of tuna and a jar of peanut butter. That is usually my go-to. But their stock was on a real low, so I had to choose between tuna or peanut butter. Um, I went with the tuna because tuna is always good to have on hand. I mean, I don't know about other folks, but I like to have um, Oh my gosh, can't hold the can straight. <laughs> um, I like having tuna on hand. It's an easy lunch or if you just don't feel like cooking, it's an easy meal. Um, and it's good for you. So I like my seafood and I do like my tuna. Next. I do have some 100% whole grain whole wheat porcini. This is a pantry item. Um, I keep stuff like that on hand. It's good in a pinch. Want to make a quick meal. Um, I noticed I've been getting more whole grain pasta in, which is a good thing. 
Um, I used to not really care for the taste for whole grain pasta, but I'm learning certain brands taste better than others. Um, Aldi's makes a whole grain spaghetti that is absolutely delicious. I've eaten it, I've made it, and it is really, really good. So if you guys, you know, want to check out whole grain pasta that just tastes amazing, go to Aldi's and check out their selection of whole grain pastas. And the taste is really, really good. Very, very good. And I'm picky when it comes to whole grain pasta. Some of them I just don't like. But all these, um, a couple of them, different ones that they have out there are really, really good. Definitely check all these out. I always grab, and I can, one grain brown rice because I don't really use white rice anymore. I gave that up a couple of years ago. Not that it helped me lose weight and in any way, shape, or form, but brown rice and that is supposed to be better for you, so I sort of gave up white rice a while ago. Uh, this is elbow, elbow macaroni. Um, elbow macaroni is another pantry staple. I like to keep certain pastas on hand. It's always good for a meal. Tuna uh, casserole, for example. Hey, just a can of frozen veggies, a couple of cans of cream soup, elbow macaroni, and guess what? You got an easy meal, a good tasty meal. Tuna casserole. Now, normally I can get five cans of beans but again, they were running low, so I was able to get three cans. Excuse me, so I grabbed a can of chickpeas. I grabbed a can of black beans. I've been using them a lot. Um, I also grabbed vegetarian soup, vegetable soup. Uh, chicken noodle soup. And I thought I grabbed another can of beans. No. I grabbed a package of beef stew. Now this kind of beef stew is actually really, really good. It's the one in the silver packaging that I don't really care for the taste for uh, too much. This one, I have made this before. I have like one or two other ones in my pantry. And this actually has a much better flavor. I have used this. I actually improvised for one month, um, like two days before I got my food stamps. I made a beef stew pot pie. Sounds a little bizarre, but now that I make my own crust in that and they become really, really good, I literally made a beef stew pot pie using two packages of this and it came amazing it was so good very creamy everything was tender and it was just a really good filling meal so you'd be surprised what you can make and what your mind starts thinking of when you keep certain things on hand so if you happen to go to a food pantry and they have these keep a couple of these on hand because you'd be surprised. There's so much more to it than just a bowl of beef stew. Um, I also grabbed two of these. They're called snack waffles, dark chocolate sea salt. Um, they're, you know, sort of a little snack. Um, I'm really not going to play with too much chocolate right now because I'm trying to get my body back into eating good food. Two nights ago I ate chili, which, oh my god, was so wonderful. And I've been eating bananas with peanut butter, which just tastes like heaven. Um, yesterday, first time I ever made chicken quesadilla soup, and that was just, like, divine. Tonight I ate a 
good size for a big kokahogi, which was like, oh my word, like, I'm obsessed with food right now because when you have not been able to eat anything decent, filling, substantial for almost two weeks, you'd be surprised how your body just wants to try to replace that. I mean, I obviously can't shovel a ton of food in yet, but I'm starting to get there and starting to eat more throughout the course of the day. So that's a good thing. I also grabbed, these are really good. These are Trader Joe's mini dark chocolate mini coins. They are dark chocolate cookies. They are really, really good. Um, I think these are more like organic sort of cookies. We hereby present to you this merit badge for unequal Josina's viscosity. I do not know what that means, but I think these are organic or some something along those lines. But they are good cookies. But believe me, I'm not interested in cookies at the moment. No. no, no, no. I was able to grab some bagels today. Um, mm, I smell a cinnamon sugar one. Um, my son likes to have bagels every so often. I have to watch with bagels. Um, sometimes they're just a little bit too hard for my dentures. Um, I think eventually I'm going to get back into maybe the smoothies. But right now I'm loving my bananas and peanut butter. So I'm not dropping that boat just yet. But yep, some bagels. And we got some diced tomatoes. And we have pure gold, great value, barbecue sauce. Um, I figured I'd give that a try. Um, down the road at some point, hopefully, maybe, and maybe by this weekend, I'll be up to grilling, weather permitting, and um, I don't know, maybe like, some barbecue chicken or something I don't know we'll see but I definitely I, I feel so bad I haven't grilled in a couple of weeks and I miss that because it's an activity I enjoy in the summer but I've basically lost over two weeks just being sick and it sucks colored greens which have become a favorite of mine I don't know why. I never eat them that often. Um, green beans. Okay. <coughs> Who doesn't like green beans, right? And, oh, here's more collard greens. I didn't realize I grabbed two. I thought I grabbed something else. Now I was also able to grab five cans of Perrier and juice drink, strawberry and kiwi. I have not had this before, so I really don't know how this is or what this tastes like. Um, but I got five cans of that. And I also grabbed a container, it's a refill of Dial Coconut Water and Mango Hand Soap, which is really going to come in handy. I have a little um, Dial one from Dollar Tree, and I can fill it up with this. So that is actually pretty good. And the last item that I was able to get today from my pantry was a white coconut cake. Now I do have 
in my freezer, which I'm going to take out and buy out. A chocolate cream silk pie. I was craving a coca hoagie, which is what we ate today. And I really wanted a piece of chocolate cream pie. So that's going to be coming out of my freezer. This is going to be going in and I'm going to have this later on during the week. So guys, that is it for my food pantry haul. Um, as I said, I just wanted to touch base with you guys before this video to let you know what's going on. And I'm going to try to get back on track with um, my videos and what I want to do. Um, but these two weeks of being sick really, really messed me up. I'm not 100%, but by now I do feel like I'm, I'm starting to get there. Um, it's just been a long, long road to getting there, and I would not wish this on anyone. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I thank you so much to everybody who watches and subscribes, and a big thank you and welcome aboard to my new subscribers. I'm sorry, you know, you came on board. I've been dealing with this illness, <clears throat> but um, hopefully I am getting better, and um, thank you so much, guys. I will be seeing you all soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Good night.